So I'm in my dad's car today. The whole squad's here. We're trying to front a Waffle House because we're hungry. This is the Miata rip. I didn't even get to see it. I was trying to pull it, up next to it. It rips. It's it's, it's it stays around the corners. It oh, kept yeah. up. I was like, I'm gonna try and get away. My car was just like, mm. <laughs> yeah. And this car was like, let's go. Yeah, know, let's right. go. It's nimble. Let me see your shirt, Matt. What's your shirt say? <laughs> Video games from my driving instructor, which they were. And they got me on the back. Ah. One of one. Matt, did you notice my car? Yes, I did. Did you see it has a bumper? Yeah, I'm jealous actually. They haven't seen it. They haven't seen it with a bumper. Are you jealous? What do you mean you're jealous? I don't have a front bumper. Yeah, but you like it like that. That's your style. That's yeah, the, on the that's on the that's on the the, the bluesy. That's like because it's like you got the like the bass bar, you got the coolers. This is gonna be like competition. This is this is like button up the tuxedo. We're going out to party. The other one's like, yo, cut your mullet right. Throw on a baseball hat, and we're gonna go rage down at the field. You know that's, that's down at the field. Yeah. That's pretty savage. So you have party car, and then you have well, this is my party car, but this I want is like my a tuxedo. You got the you got the white. Oh, you're you right. Got the black. What about the blue? The blue, we're not gonna look at that side. <laughs> well, they have to see it. They're gonna see it eventually. I feel sorry for them. Yeah, Will the Z plug here in Orlando just hooked it up. He's got every part you can think of for a 350Z. Literally every part. He's, he's, he's just parts out through disease. He has everything you will need. He even has whole cars for sale. So I went over there, picked up a bunch of parts for the Z, gave me a really good price, best price you'll, you'll find in Orlando. Matt uses them all the time. I bought my first, my blue car from him. And I have several friends that have bought cars from him. And they all drift. Yep. And like this door, for example. Oh, I don't know if they've seen that we took the wrap off. It was on the live session, but if they didn't watch live, we took the wrap off. This door is dented. Matt, I went to the Z plug, got Matt a new door. It also matches my fender. You don't like the baby blue, Matt? I don't like. If I saw the whole car in it, it's like, well, it's like that dude in blue, and I, I can't, you know. I can't, you know. <laughs> Once someone has a color, it's like, nope, can't do that. So today we're gonna finish the Z. It already drives and all this stuff, and we've dri drifted it, but um, I wanna button it up completely. I went to the Z plug this morning again, and I got some more parts. Um, I got shocks for the rear hatch. I got some bolts that we were missing, just random bolts for stuff that we were missing. I got a fuse for, so my fans weren't working and turns out the fuse blew the fuse is like an l shape i'll show you guys and the reason the fuse blew was because the harness was like on the fans it was all eaten up so i got that too from him so like i said he's got everything you need go check him out link is in the description this wire right here for the fan was eaten up i guess from the the, the previous accident that this car had it was touching the pulley so it had to be eaten up got a new one it's on this is the fuse that it blew and it's crazy because if you see it, this fuse is like an L. It's all of it is mixed together. <coughs> so you can't just replace one. You gotta go find this specific fuse to replace the whole thing. Luckily the Z plug had it. So easy. Goes in here. Done. Megan, what are you doing? Whatever I want to do. No. You want to ride in the car, you got to install the passenger seatbelt. Do it. I'm not doing it. Passenger seatbelt, that's your seatbelt. I don't need a seatbelt. Yes, you do. Go install it. So you see, you put this like this, right there, and this like this.
tail back before we get in trouble. <laughs> Pasm's first time on a bike. Here we go. Not bad. So now we can get to installing the dual caliper bracket. Well, the dual caliper e-brake setup. That's the caliper. The bracket is already in there. Doo -doo. It's that shiny little piece by Pro Series Fabrication. Amazing bracket, I love it. It's super easy. I have, I just installed it when I did my hubs and all the brakes and stuff. And you can drive around like that and when you're ready, you get your other caliper and your line and you make it and, you, and you're ready to go. So we're gonna do that right now. Passed out. What are you doing? Easy. And that's what the dual caliper setup is gonna look like. Normal brake, hydraulic e-brake. Just gotta tighten it and make the lines. Okay, good point here is, you can see in here. This is the bleeder hole. It's on the bottom port, it should be up here. Which means this caliper actually goes on the other side. Otherwise, you won't be able to bleed it. You'll always have air inside the cylinder. I wanted to point it out because otherwise somebody else would point it out if I just fixed it and didn't tell you. So this one goes here, this one goes on the other side. Fixed. Shut up, damn it. Fixed. Definitely a bad idea, I'm not doing it. Yo, look at this. I'm not, laying over here. Yeah, like, not, this is definitely gonna fall. Not a good idea. I don't think you weigh that much. I'm literally like, <laughs> Yeah, this is a bad idea. That's like 20 pounds. These tires weigh nothing. No, no, no. Put it on and I, we'll hold it up and see. Absol I'm not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Matt's over here drilling things. Wang's over here relaxing. <laughs> so, like, if we want to get a car out, we just run me over. Don't. We just don't die. get a car out. <laughs> like I was saying, I used a soft line to a hard line that I made. And it goes around that way, over the diff, that way. And then the other hard line is all up in there. You can see the T is up there. And then from there, it's gonna go one line to our hydro this direction over the drive shaft through that hole over there. That hole just goes in the stock e-brake location and we'll just come up to our handle where we're gonna put it. We don't know yet. 